Over the last five years, WTM's World Responsible Tourism Day has made a significant impact worldwide, helping to lift many communities out of poverty, saving lives and ensuring education for more children. Throughout 2011, we've been closely following some of the pioneering projects of responsible tourism to show how real work is making a real difference. Gambia is Good is a joint initiative launched between horticultural companies and NGOs. It's bridged a gap to help poor local farmers sell to the tourist industry. We go with our trucks, collect the vegetables, bring it to a central location, and then wait for orders every morning from hotels and restaurants. The scheme has also trained over a thousand farmers. It's now much easier for us to get crops to market and we've received really good training in farming practices. It's made a huge difference to our lives. Travel and tourism are uniquely placed to help create positive change, from working practices and wealth distribution to improving health, education and providing clean water. Hi, my name is Claude Graves. Uh, together with my wife, uh, Petra, we founded and built Nihiwata Resort on the island of Sumba it's in eastern Indonesia. The foundation is about creating health. We have five clinics. Uh, we focus on malaria. We've reduced malaria by 85 percent. We support 14 schools overall. Those kids have libraries now, school supplies. It's pretty good. In Costa Rica, the Desafio Adventure Company has invested in people way beyond the benefits to their own business. As well as training their own staff, they're fostering entrepreneurship in the area. I get great support from them. Er everything that I need, I, I get it. company like Tessafio, you can grow super easy. A child dies every 20 seconds because of dirty, polluted water. It's the biggest killer of children under five. In a remote area bordering the Samburu Nature Reserve of northwest Kenya, a three-year drought has taken its toll with children as young as six forced to risk their lives to get water from the river. We have seen a lot of cases, including in this school, of children being eaten by crocodiles. The same water people are using to drink, the same water people are using to bath. The level of hygiene is really very low. Just a Drop was founded on behalf of the travel industry and helps to provide clean water and sanitation in some of the poorest parts of the developing world. At the Westgate project, clean water is now on tap for nearly 2,500 locals. These are all local projects of international stature. We have put in £800,000 directly into the hands of Gambian farmers since we started. As a small company, like the one I have, it's, it, to me it's huge. As we salute the champions of responsible tourism, it's a reminder that we can all make an impact. Basically what we're trying to do is set the foundation so that uh, the people can find their own way out of poverty. World Responsible Tourism Day. What will you commit to?